When Kabul fell to the Taliban in August of 2021, the all-girls Afghan robotics team, the so-called Afghan Dreamers, were forced to evacuate. They're now based in Qatar. We catch up with team members 19-year-olds Afsana Ahmadi, Sadaf Hamidi, and 17-year-old captain Florence Puya. We are not just a robotics team and we are not uh, just building the robots. It's a way to show uh, their, uh, uh, the other girls uh, in Afghanistan talents and their uh, power. Back in Herat, back before the Taliban took over at the height of the COVID pandemic, the team built this pretty incredible affordable ventilator prototype. But now there's a little opportunity for such innovation. The Taliban has banned girls from high school and university. UNICEF estimates 4 million girls are out of school. I can be the voice of my friends and I can do something from here that can help them. And they know they're the lucky ones, safely out of the country, safe enough to dream big. Our friends are still in uh, there and they will be the future scientists, the future uh, leaders, the future engineers, the one uh, can uh, br uh, bring a solution for the cancer. We are also trying hard to serve our country from afar to tell the world and show the world uh, that Afghan girls uh, can be amazing if they are given the opportunity. And the Afghan dreamers, well, they're proving that every day. Molly Hunter, NBC News, London. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.